Hello, this is Will from Grow Anywhere, and today I want to show you the life of lettuce in a home hydroponic system from seed to harvest. I have a very cool time lapse video to show you of the whole process. So let's get started. The way I propagated my lettuce seedlings was to use Rockwool cubes soaked in a nutrient solution and placed in reused tofu containers. During the first few days, I had a lid on each tofu container to maintain high humidity, and that was to ensure high and uniform germination. After seedlings had germinated, I put the plants under white LED shop lights on a shelving unit, and these are just generic white LED lights you can buy from a hardware store. The LED lights were about 10 inches above the plants sitting on top of the bus tubs and the white LED lights are rated at 5000 lumens as the light output which can be converted to about 200 micromoles per meter square per second with the 10 inch clearance space. And we need to know that it's appropriate to use micromoles per meter square per second to quantify the amount of light for plant photosynthesis versus lumens as the unit to quantify the amount of light for human eye perception. I had all the lights run on a timer for 16 hours a day. A few days later, I put the lettuce seedlings in between my hydroponic chili plants, still on the shelving unit on the white LED lights. The plants continued to grow and expand their leaves. About two weeks after seed sow, I was able to transplant my green leaf lettuce Nancy and red oak leaf lettuce Cherokee into a DIY home hydroponic system using the Kratky method. I used bus tops for dishes and they come with lids which are very convenient to drill two inch holes on where I can put in two inch net pots or net cups to house each individual rock or cube with a seedling in it. I drilled six holes on each lid, so there were a total of 12 plants, six plants for each cultivar of lettuce. Before I transplanted the lettuce seedlings into the bus tops, I filled the bus tops with a nutrient solution at a moderate EC of 1.5 millisiemens per centimeter. This was a very low maintenance system because I didn't have to adjust the pH or EC of the nutrient solution at all throughout the entire growing cycle. This was fine for most leafy greens, especially for lettuce. While I was sitting around to wait to harvest my delicious lettuces, I took a time-lapse video to document the entire growing process from transplant to harvest. I hope you enjoy this. 